work. I, I give up. I'm too tired for this. So we may not play the whole night um, if I get too exhausted. Or I'll just make you guys talk to each other for two hours. Um, but we haven't played in a bit. So uh, before I get into the recap, is there anything anybody has a question about? Yeah, the whole thing. Okay, no. <laughs> no. Go, go over everything. <laughs> okay, start with the things. All right, so I'm going to show you a few new things that I've added since it's been so long since we played. One is if you go to the top left on the token controls button, it's the one that looks like a person. Okay. There is now a button on the bottom right after that that says party inventory. Everybody should see it. Mm -hmm. um, so when there are is loot to hand out, I will put it there. And then you can drag it from there to your inventory so we know that people have taken stuff. Mm -hmm. well Wait, sorry, where where is it? On the top left, click the picture of a person, and then on the bottom right after that. Okay. There's cool. nothing in there right now because there's nothing to hand out. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. That is really cool. There's a way I can make items secret until you identify them that I have to work on a little bit more, so I'll let you know. Um, when there are bad guys now, let me just uh, drag something random out. Um, let's go with cow. If you highlight over it, it'll show you that it's currently uninjured. Mm -hmm. And if I hurt it, and now you highlight over it. It shows that it's injured. And if I heard it again, you highlight over it. It shows that it's badly injured. So rather than me telling you guys where it's at, in terms of bloodied and all that, you can just use that to figure out what's hurt and what's not. Did bloodied mean badly injured? Well, bloodied it was typically under 50%. Yeah. You got uninjured and dead, and then in between that, it's basically two thirds and one third. Badly injured and injured. Okay. <laughs> so that I added. Um, the calendar. The calendar is set. Um, I could have it like actually run according to real time. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to change it as time changes. That is the current in-game date. Wednesday, spring 47th in the year 1081. Um, and it's noon. Um, if you double-click on the calendar, it brings up the calendar. I think you guys can actually mark like events and stuff on your on the calendar if you want, I think. Hmm. And I have, so there's there's three moons in this world, but one of them stays exactly the same distance from the sun at all times, so it's never full. Um, so this has the, the phases of the other two moons on it. Ah. I like it. I like the notes thing. Be cool. Yeah, and I, th I can't oh. remember if I put... Maybe we gotta put the boat thing, right? Yeah, I can't remember if I put that on there or not. Uh, let me just look up quick when that was, and we'll see if it's on there. Cause it's like, I think the only thing you guys would put on there right now is that. Yeah, I think so. This will just take a second. And this is a result of, because my other group was asking for a bunch of different things. And as I added them to theirs, I was like, well, I should add them to ours, too. Yeah. Um, timeline. Yeah, they think they're better than us or something. They do. And how they long are. did he say? <laughs> do you remember how long he said it would be? It was, was it next summer? Hold on. Oh. 2-1-10-82. Uh, yeah. That's when he said. Nope, it's not on there. 
Yeah, summer. Yeah, summer of 1082. One year and 50 to 80 days until the ship would be ready from when that occurred. Oh. Boat ready. Save now. Yeah, so now if you go to... Oh, wait, it says Game Master only. Uh, edit. Player usable. usable. I guess I got to click everybody. There's no everyone button. Okay, if you guys go on the calendar to summer 1082 on the first day, there should be a note now. On the calendar. Please let me know if it's not there. Is anybody yep. looking for it? It's there? Yep. Boat ready. Boat ready. Wait. Okay. There's all day. Is it really going to take all day for the boat? All day, yeah. Okay, I'm not putting it. I don't know about that. Ready all day. I, I don't even know for sure it's going to be exactly <laughs> that day. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. How about a time? Um, you know, like 1 oh. to 2 p.m. <laughs> Wait, what happens after 2 p.m.? Does he burn it? Yeah, boat's destroyed. <laughs> He's a disintegrate. Uh, okay, when you have... Your token selected. Elios is already out. Um, you can see now when you right click it on the top left, there's an activate torch button. So uh -huh. if you if you use a torch, it's not really gonna do anything on this page because it's all lit up, but if you use a torch, you can just do that and it'll add the light to your token without me having to do anything. Um In there's a way I can change which light it activates, but I think torch is good enough. Wait, sorry, where is that again? You click on your right token click, and then right, right click your token. Oh, right, top, top left little thing. Oh, I gotta move, yeah, maybe just right click your token. Yeah, the color thing is so that I can identify NPCs that have the exact same token. All right, um, that doesn't matter. How come, how come Baruch, his little thing says uninjured? I hate you so much. Why? I, because I, oh, I, no. I just did the whole thing with the cow. And you oh, I didn't see it. What were you doing? I was looking at other stuff. Why? Um, because I zoned out. To be fair, I didn't see a cow either. <laughs> what? When you were talking about it, I kind of figured what you were talking about, though. I was listening, but I saw a cow. I don't. I saw a cow. cow. This cow. This is the cow I put. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I never saw that. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I see it now. If he gets like hurt, that? if he gets hurt, yeah, it's right in the middle of the screen. Yeah, I didn't see it. I don't, the, actually, the calendar might have been blocking it. But if he gets hurt, it ch it changes, so you can tell. Okay. How hurt everybody is. I probably could turn okay, it I'm off sorry. on your tokens. You should be. I'm spending this whole time going over new stuff. Okay, is, I said I'm sorry. So that's the like second it. time. <laughs> uh, let me just turn off. Hide estimate. Okay, Baruch. Let me just do it on all of yours right now, because you guys don't need to see that for yourselves. Because will you our can... names be? Sorry, will our names be this big, or is it? Can you make them smaller? I think it's just that big because of of this page. Oh, okay. But I can make them smaller if they stay that big for some reason. Okay, yeah, because I just remember the... the last time they were just in the way. The thing with the names is it it's supposed to be the names resized based on the size of the page. Oh, I so see. So that you can be zoomed out and still see the name without the name getting mm -hmm. super tiny. 
But yeah, on this page, it doesn't make a lot of sense anyway. No, I, I guess. That's why normally there are no tokens. True. What's all the squizzles up here? Yeah. I told you. No, I did. Somebody threw it. Chris. Probably Chris. It's definitely him. I can see his little, his little guy doing it. Um, last thing, okay, if you go to your character, go open your character sheet. Go to your inventory. I don't want anybody to do it right now, but if you ever need to give an item directly to somebody else, on the far right of the items next to the garbage can there are two hands shaking. You can click that to give a thing to another person. Ooh. Irene is the first one on my list. Yeah, Clarence and Rowena and Yokas are still on there, but Sirene's mine too. Yeah, it's alphabetical, mm -hmm. guys. No, it's not. Ooh. Uh, What's everyone gonna give me? Sirene, give me some sardines. Alright, so last time you guys finished your mission <laughs> and then traveled on the road to uh Baelishton and we ended right upon your arrival. You're coming to the, the city of Baelishton, the capital capital of Balaam to uh, receive your reward uh, for killing Giovanni, the leader of Team Fireball. Travis, you want to get your screen sharing set with Serena? Uh, I'm in. I'm in Ashley's office. I'm just watching her screen. Okay. And yeah, Chris and Ryan, Serena is here to spectate so that we have another witness for Chris's war crime. Need a lot of witnesses. <laughs> what, the <fuck? laughs> what the fuck? What about everybody else's war crimes? <laughs> the tribunal. Um. Yeah, I guess we don't need the overall map. Sorry, guys. I'm switching you all over the place. Um. I just switched you back to the Balaam map, and that we want the Balaam map. Reactivate. All right. All right. Remember, guys. So this is one we gotta pay attention. No, Unless you guys get to yet. that, because no, we're oh, not okay. gonna get there today. Okay. Never mind, guys. Let me. I don't need to be attention. Oh, everybody's, everybody's robotic all the time for me. I'm robotic? Everybody is for me all of a sudden. So are you? Really? Uh, I don't know. Am I? No, beep, not bop, for me. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Beep, beep, boop. 
Well, well, they definitely are. Are in the game. <laughs> mine, mine's not didn't load when you switched the match or something. I'm trying to reload okay. it. Only three of us are in the game. Yeah, I have to reload oh, yeah, mine too. Mine's, mine's been loading. It's been slow. Yeah, same. Oh. oh. Okay. Still not loaded. Okay, let me shut it. Partially shut it down loaded. I shut it down and reopen it. Mine partially reloaded. <laughs> Yeah, it's got it's got like the lines and stuff, but the map's not all there. It's weird. Um, is this the place where Travis you had gotten stuff for the puppy? No. Oh, thanks, Travis. Of course. Oh wait, Teresa. What? Which stuff are you talking about? Didn't he... I think he bought the collar here. Yeah. I think you're right. He bought the collar here. And didn't I... Didn't I get, like, a ring or something? And I had to go back for it? Mm -hmm. Was that here? Boy, I don't know. Damn it. I knew I was going to forget. I remember everybody being like, don't forget. Crap. Did Chris write it in his journal thing? What's going on? Wasn't there a gold, like a jewelry shop? Didn't some Chris? Didn't you go to? I think you went to it with me, didn't you? Possibly. What's going on? And you didn't you buy buy something like jewels? And I I thought that I had traded in. I had like a ruby, and I was like, I want to make a ruby ring. And he was like, All right, it's gonna take whatever time. Anyone remember that? No. Not particularly. No, no, was it I like don't. the old lady? There was like one place we were in and met an old lady or something that was operating a magic shop. It wasn't a magic shop. It was just some random jewelry store. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Cow. I'm pretty sure it was here. I... Did you what? Did you not hear anything? I got I got up to get a drink, so. Oh, so okay, so I thought that here I had like ordered a like a necklace or a ring or something, and I I because I had a ruby in my inventory or something, and I didn't know what else to do with it, so I was gonna make it into a, a, like something or an emerald maybe. That's um, <sighs> and I I thought it was here, and I never went back for it because I don't have. Oh, no, I do have a ruby ring. Okay, maybe you got it. Then. Okay, yeah, I think I did. Never mind. Sorry for that. Yeah, because I didn't have anything written down about that. So Yeah, I was going to say, I, I feel like you did it, and it was I done. did do it. Yeah, I just thought that it would take time. I think I it did, but I think we just went back. This is oh, your okay. third time coming to this city. It's just been so long since we've, like, yeah, been yeah. here. Just somebody went to Disney stuff. World. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. Oh, and Travis, this is where you need to get the the wolf's uh, collar, right? I think you got that too. I already got that. Cool. Did you support LGBT stuff while you were in Disney, Chris? I had an LGBTQ. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And Mr. T was there. Sounds delicious. Chris, did you pass out on the flight back? I almost did. Really? Jesus Pretty Christ. rough. Did you figure out what was wrong? Not yet. Go to the doctor. I got an appointment, but it's like in a month and a half. Yeah, that's the way the medical system Two months. works. I wonder what that could be. You're not Over pregnant, pressure. right? <laughs> um, could be low blood pressure. Are you a person with a uterus? Um, 
He's awfully do, quiet. Do, do, you, do, you need a, do you need a minute to go check? He's like, <laughs> when, you say, <laughs> now, when, you, when you say with, do you mean that... Okay. Okay. Gotta get that stick out. Be on. I can't believe he had a lettuce, ground beef, tomato, barbecue. LGBT. <laughs> I was thinking about that this whole time. <laughs> He's trying to make a joke. <laughs> God. God. Okay, everybody, you're at Ballaston. I gotta figure out where the hell I was in my notes. Teresa, I do appreciate you trying to remember things you need to remember, though. So. Oh, you're welcome. Good job. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> you guys enter Ballaston without a problem. You weren't given any instructions about where to go once you completed your mission. And with the captain dead, and your mission a secret, you have no lead. You could hand, head to Arius again, or you could try something else. What do you do? Mm -mm. He's the main person we even know here, right? We don't really know a lot of people. I don't think you know anybody here. Other than we don't know anyone. Yeah. I'm going to start there, right? Might as well. Can we tell tell him what we're doing, or just ask we him? Can to be, we can be we can be we can be a bit. What is the word? Mysterious. Mysterious. Yes, mysterious. I was I was thinking of a different word, but that works. Discreet's a good one. Discreet. That's what I was want, going for. Oh, that was oh, Ryan. He said it first. Act like you know words, Travis. A bit liarly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys head to. Federal Office Building, as it is so creatively named, <laughs> and ask to see Arius. You head to his office. Um, his assistant lets him know that you're there, and only moments later, he opens the door and, and ushers you into his office. Um, you all pile into his office, and, and as you enter the room one by one, he goes, Respect. Respect. Respect, respect, and so on. Um, yes, yes. He says, well, welcome back so soon. I honestly didn't expect you to be back um, this quickly uh, with the, the few number of missions that our nation uh, asks for from the Academy. Um, it's odd that we see two teams within this time period, let alone the same team twice. Uh, we're not from the academy, right, guys? Mm -mm. What academy? I, I stuff I stuff my banner into my backpack. Yeah, he he <laughs> blinks a little bit and then looks back and forth between you two and goes, "Oh, right, I've got it." And he winks. He says, uh, "You you can be frank with head. me, though. I, I I know about your mission, uh, uh, and and uh, I understand that the czar expects that he doesn't have to worry about whether or not you'll keep it a secret. So." So good on you for continuing the ruse. I go for, to Cyrene for a fist bump. I grab his hand <laughs> and wrap it in mine. <laughs> <laughs> and shake it. Ah, yes. You uh, have to keep your handshakes coded. Yes. Uh, yeah. Secret. Anyway. Uh, I'm trying to take... shake her off of me. I won't let go. He, he pulls out a key from his pocket and like moves a painting to the side and presses a button on the back of the painting and then puts the painting back where it was, then goes over to a bookcase and you see that because he pressed the button, button, a book popped out a little bit and he pushes that book back in and pulls out a different book and he puts that in a different spot and then puts that book in. Um, and then he comes over to you and opens his desk and pulls out a box. And he says, sorry, I, I just needed to make my lunch order. Um, and he, he opens up the box and pulls out the money for you. Um, hmm. And nobody. Okay. I guess it wasn't oh, funny. The whole elaborate thing to get your it wasn't to get your money, it was to make his lunch order. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, uh tuna. Oh, that sounds delicious. Where could we order some too? Oh, it's a lot of book shifting. 
Uh, well, where'd you get it from? We'll, we'll just go there. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll let you know. Um, anyway, here's your reward for completing the mission as advertised. 600 gold pieces um, and instructions for a spell. Um, so the spell is... Oh, actually, hold on. I should, I should go to the party. Also, if you have your, um, your character sheet open, there is a party inventory button on the top. So you can click that to go to party inventory. But I'm going to put 600 gold into the party inventory. Mm -hmm. right. You see a 120? Is that right? Nope, that would be six. Oh, no, you're right. That would be 600. Is this split currency among parties? Just split it evenly? I see. Well, it does, except that it, it uses everyone who is a, a party member. So hold on. Let's turn off. Clarence, Gigi, the boat, Milo, oh. spiritual weapon, party hit points, <laughs> party token, another the boat. The boat's got my money. We, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Silas the wolf. <laughs> hey, you could, you could use a little extra. Sparky, Tuts, and you Yoga. Some wolf. <laughs> there. Now you can just press the button. All right, do it, Ryan. The current team on party, yeah, 120 each. There we go. Nice. Woo! Wow, that was sweet. No more math for Travis, you idiot. Oh, <laughs> um, I did it good. I got to remember where. It's the under journals, right? Yeah, rules hmm. lost Well, I'll just post Fortune's Favor from. Um... It's a scroll? No, it's not a scroll. Remember we were saying oh. that there, there's a bunch of spells that aren't on any spell list that you can um, uh -huh. gain. So basically... Any artificer, druid, cleric, paladin, or sorcerer can use this spell. I just thought that I had... Oh, I can search. No, I didn't. Well, oh, spells. It's not in there. It's crazy. Yeah. Can you guys um see that now if you go to the item list? Items directory on the top right. The very top one says AAA spells. Can you see that? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And in mm -hmm. there, can you see Fortune's Favor? No. Uh, no. 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 You should be. Yes. Yeah, here it is. Yep. Holy me. Yep. I will edit Ooh, that. We need a we need a hundred gold pearl. Usable by artificer bard cleric druid paladin. Sorcerer. Oh, and a wizard. I've got a pearl. I don't know how much it's worth, though. So. Does it have a value? If you click on it and look on the left side, does yeah, it have a value listed? It says, yeah, price 100. Well, quantities 2, price is 100. I don't know if it was supposed to be 250 or 2100. It, consu it consumes the pearl. Hmm. The, this this you can use to give yourself super advantage, though. It says if yeah. the original d20 roll has advantage or disadvantage, the creature rolls the additional d20 after the advantage or disadvantage has been applied. Yeah. So you can, you can give it to somebody. Mm -hmm. It says one minute and one hour. Oh, because it takes a minute to cast and it lasts for an hour. Hmm. Yeah, it just sucks. It costs so much to use. I mean, it's really good, though. You might just not use it until later on in the adventure. Yeah, we just save it. 
Um, so how see. do you, how do you learn it? Um, any any of you can can swap out a spell for it though. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, not any of us, but three of us, right? Yeah, none of you are a wizard. The wizard can just add it to a spell book if there was a right. One. It's only usable once, right? It's a, with a scroll. It's not a scroll. It's it's scroll. spell instructions. It's it's a oh, spell okay. you guys mm-hmm. couldn't use before at all, and now it's on your spell list. Yeah. Yeah. So you can you can, like you can put it in your you can prepare it right now if you want, Ryan. Oh, okay. Any, any of us any, can. Anything that's on that uh, list in that trip in that AAA spells folder is yeah. spells is spells you guys couldn't use originally. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. God. It's just that it's a hundred gold pearl to, to actually use the spell. It's just a problem. Somebody else want one of these pearls? Oh, how many do you have? Who? Oh. I think that's what it's in my inventory anyway. I would think that's what you have then. Yeah, yeah I don't know what else we would base it on. I'm certainly not going to remember. I have a pearl of power. Does that count? I mean, technically, that's better. Oh, want one. Um, why don't you hold on to it for now? Wait, I think that's going to be one that we plan to use ahead of time and probably only one of us uses it. So it takes a minute to actually use it or use it probably before a fight or whatever. I could probably twin it too. That's true. I'll give you give you one of these pearls then, Brooke. Yeah, why don't you take one for now? Do offer item. There we go. And then Chris Maybe. has to accept it. Uh-huh. Uh, should have popped up. Uh, no. Hmm. This box is checked like I clicked it and I can't re-click it. Cancel and try again here. Close. Do I got to close? No, here we go. Try it again. He's got a pearl in his inventory. He was there before. Hmm. Okay, well, did you give it to him? No, it didn't go. I mean, you were going to try again? Yeah, I did. Now, now I can't, like, click out of it at all. Like, the box won't go away no matter what I do. Maybe I gotta pop it in. Hold on a sec. For some reason Firefox doesn't play nice with this sometimes. Oh yeah, there are errors if you pop stuff out sometimes. Yeah, that might be why I have my usually have my character sheet popped out. Um, let me go back here. I was gonna say I didn't have any problems with the other party, so I don't know. Yeah, let's try that this way. All right. Oh, disappeared when I clicked at that time. I got it. Yep, there it goes. Okay, yeah, it's popped out. It doesn't like it. So I unpopped. Okay. Yay! Exciting. Um, okay. So, Arya says, uh, "Will there be anything else?" Mm, I don't think so. You guys can take your time and think if there's anything else. I know it's been a while. Uh... Is there anything we were supposed to ask him about? It was yeah. Was there anything in the paper about us that uh, girl we were here was supposed to write a, a brilliant article about us? Oh yes, that's right. Um, I've got a copy right here. Mm. And he hands it over. Look, try to read the article very quickly. Very interested to see. Uh, it's actually pretty long, and it's great. Um, 
he, he paints you guys as big time heroes saying the future is bright with people like you working for Baelish, uh, working for the Academy. Um, it barely mentions Baruch. Shoo. It says like, <laughs> you know, and you know, Baruch Papadakis was also there. Yeah. Um, Who's the hero of the story? Uh, Yarrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I it mean, look her his up charm earlier. worked. He was going to, well, no, he was going to have to be horrible <laughs> in order to not be. He's the only one from this country. He seduced her. True. He, he did see. seduce her. <laughs> does it say how handsome and Does it talk about how bad he is at mining? It actually doesn't say anything about you being handsome. Oh. Somewhat disappointed then. But if you had mentioned if you had mentioned to her any of your hobbies, it would list those. Did it mention how he's afraid of his family? He's afraid of his family and sports. <laughs> it's sports. Hey, sports. <laughs> Damn. Well, that that has to be the funniest character detail <laughs> I've ever seen. Bad at sports. <laughs> It's a fantasy world. I'm not terribly unathletic or anything, but it's, you know, bad at sports. Just give this guy a racket. He doesn't know what to do with it. No. No, I'll get my head in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's fairly well written. She said more about how great it looked, but that's all right. All right. Teresa, can you think of anything? Ooh, is that a hint? No. No. Okay. Do you guys just leave then? Yeah. What do you think you gotta do? No, I don't. You sure. Mm hmm. Okay. Are you? I'm not sure if you're sure. <laughs> Are you sure if you're sure? Oh. I'm sure. Okay. Is that all we need to do when we head back to the school? So you guys can head back to the school. Um, remember that it is summer vacation, and at this point, school doesn't start up for 53 days. Oh, let's visit Euro's um, family. Uh, uh, I think we can bring it back soon. <laughs> I, I I think I left the stove on when we left, so we really <laughs> gotta get back. We visit our um, our friend there, the the, the new photo that what was it an in that popped up out of nowhere. Yeah, that's on the way to the school. I don't know what's going on with my internet because it says that my connection's fine, but everybody's robotic. People keep leaving the game. I've never had this problem before. It's gone on mine. Huh? Yeah. I'm here. So you're not in the... You're not on uh, Palantir. Yeah, you looking at it. Oh, yeah. It you're not on the left. Shows all of you people. Oh, the now it just... It literally just said that I lost connection. Let's see. I'm going to leave Discord and come back. Hey, right. Joe. Am I robotic? No. Wait. What about Teresa? Okay. Is she? Am I? She doesn't talk. So, um, you guys <laughs> have 53 hey, days. Bye. Yeah, you, you can hear you fine. <laughs> um... <laughs> You guys can do downtime here, you could do downtime in another city, or you can do school time. Which, those are two different things. Um, or we can skip over it if you guys are bored by that. I don't really care either way. Mm -hmm. Let me look up. 
that stuff and just tell you what um, the options would be. Okay, downtime. You can try to make something. You can gamble. You can try to learn how to be proficient at a type of game. You can try to make contacts with people in a specific city. You can do <coughs> um, religious service to try and get favor from a god. Um, or you can scribe spell scroll. <coughs> School time. If you go back to the school and use the resources there to try to learn stuff, is where you can learn like different combat tactics, um, interpersonal skills, global studies, uh, that kind of crap. And the combat tactics sounds good to me. Yeah. So if you go to the on the top right. <coughs> the open book mm -hmm. and go to rules glossary school time that's got all the different things you can learn school time mm. and then there's non-lethal tactics combat tactics and arcane tactics Ooh, it kind of like squeezed through. That sounds good. I like I like the school time stuff. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you guys head back to the school then, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Um, it's a nine nine days of travel. Nothing happens. Not a big deal. So we'll go right into the school time stuff. Um. So you spend your summer vacation at school learning more. Cool. All right. What does anybody want to do? Who's going first? I think I want to learn a martial combat tactic. Okay. So if you scroll down to martial combat tactics, the top has the stuff that I had added, just so that I could remember. But they're <clears throat> they're down there in the in the regular spot too, so you don't have to look at the top. So martial combat tactics are a little more than halfway down. Mm -hmm. Takes three weeks, so you only have um let's see fifty three days, and then nine. That left us with 44 days. How many weeks is 44 days? Six. Okay, six. You, got, you got six weeks. So I clear, okay. You you working on that, or can someone else go? You talking to me? Yeah. Um, I know I want to do squeeze through, but I haven't thought of something else. Okay. <clears throat> so you can just you can add that to your character sheet so that you remember you have it. 
just add it as a passive feature. And then we'll come back to you. Ryan, you go ahead. Yeah, I want to do improved deficiency. So my okay. strength is eight. So I'd like to spend a week trying to uh, improve that. So it says I make an ability check. Oh, terrible. So that doesn't work. And I have. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the DC is your current ability score plus one. There should be nine. Okay, so you spend a week and you get nothing out of it. But I have multiple weeks, right? There's six weeks. Yeah, I'm going to do another week. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. You can increase your strength one. Wait. Uh, let's see how to do that. You literally just bring just nine. Yeah, just type it in. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I spent another week on it. Okay. Ooh. I should say you hurt yourself, but I'm not gonna <laughs> go down one. You, you All right, break your week. arm. You're week permanently four. disfiggered. No good. Oh, boy. Jeez. He's boy, just spent. Gonna... He's just. Yarl spent his summer vacation lifting. <laughs> and no gains, almost. Let's keep going. Five weeks? Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> God. Week six? Yeah. yeah. That's a ten. All right. <laughs> Suddenly in week six, he, he manages to bench 80 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> the strongest. It's all my time. He, as, as as summer vacation is ending, there's like a montage of him running up a set of stairs. And it's he's still carrying, like totally out of breath. He's he's carrying a chicken over each arm <laughs> on his shoulders. He, da, 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 da. he gets to the top and lets the chickens go and they fly off and there's feathers everywhere. <laughs> Check out these guns. His arms are totally flat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the muscle used to go downward. I, I like to imagine watching Yara work out is what Cyrene likes to do while she eats. Right. Me? Yeah. yeah, during the montage of him working out, it's always Cyrene in the background, like, eating a sandwich. <laughs> Alright, who's I wanna, next? I think I want to try to do the same thing, but with my intelligence. Okay. <clears throat> What's your intelligence? Six. Six. <laughs> okay, so you need a seven. Nope. Well, it's plus, harder than you guys thought it would be, isn't it? Is it yeah. plus your proficiency, right? I think. His proficiency is minus two. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why it's difficult. I got two more tries. That was hard. You got it! Sweet. Hooray. Your intelligence goes up to seven. Which really right. offers no benefit. I can do one more? Yeah, you got one week left. You need an eight. Ah. Oh. Wow. It's a, do you have a, uh, an inspiration from me? Uh, yes. You can use I it. Also, I also have the party inspiration. Now you should fine. Got it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. I'm a little smarter Good job. Now. I'm almost a regular person's intelligence. Okay. So the montage has now changed to every 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 time Yarrow is about to like bench something he's been trying to bench, another book comes flying out the window <laughs> from Nelios and lands on top and he collapses. <laughs> I can't read this. <laughs> it shows it shows inside. Yarrow's literally destroying a table with a great sword. <laughs> you mean Nellius. And we're, we're like helping Nellius. each other, like Yarrow's like pointing out the answer so easily and then like trying to bench something and he drops it on himself and <laughs> he's got to be saved. Nelios picks it up with the yeah. finger. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, no, he's not even paying attention. He picks it up and hands it back to him. Yeah. Hands it with one hand. Picks it up with his tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm reading a book upside down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Who's next? Can I learn slide? Yeah. 
How long does that take me? It doesn't say. Mm, I gotta find it first. It's see, under the see. new options. Okay, so if you, where? yeah, so the new options is typed up there just so that I can remember what the new ones were. If you actually scroll okay. down to learn a martial combat tactic. Okay, it takes three weeks. Yeah, it's in that list. I see it. Okay. Can I learn that? That sounds fun. Yeah. So her slide, after moving at least 15 feet in a straight line, you may slide 10 feet across solid ground. The slide does not cost any movement, but after sliding, you cannot move any more this turn. At the end of the slide, you are prone, but that does not affect your ability to attack this turn. Like, it would be really cool, like, during a battle, to, like, slide up to someone and, like, slash at them while I'm laying down. <laughs> mm -hmm. True. And you you can, That's even though sweet. it says you cannot move anymore this turn, you can use your movement to stand up. Okay. But you, you just can't, like, once you've slid, that, that's the end of your of actually moving around the map that turn. Right. It also says you cannot slide through terrain that reduces your movement. But right. But if, if it's difficult terrain and you have some ability to ignore the fact that it's difficult, you can still mm -hmm. slide. Mm-hmm. Because I like the idea of a bunny sliding through prickers. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> like a little raptor. <laughs> All right, that's three weeks. Do you have another one ready, or do you want me to go to somebody else? Uh, how, it's four weeks? Six. Oh, six weeks. Okay, yeah. so I can do You guys went thing. right back, so. Okay, then, no, you can go to someone else. I'll think of someone okay. else. Okay, who's next? Uh, I can go. I want to learn Perry. Okay. Okay, you just learn it. Sweet. So you can, uh, when, a, when a melee attack would hit, you can use your reaction. Remember, you're using your reaction. Mm -hmm. Smashy's the reaction queen. She's got every option in the book. Um, you can use your reaction to add two to your AC for that attack. So it doesn't last forever. It's just that attack. So you can, mm -hmm. but if it would, if it would hit you, you can make it miss you. You can use it a number of times each day equal to your, your proficiency bonus. I believe you guys have a proficiency. Is it four right now? Am I making that up? Um, three. Three. Okay, yeah. It becomes four at level three. nine. So I can okay. use it three times a day. Yeah, so does everybody else know how to add it to the, their character sheets? The stuff they've been doing? No. Okay. Uh, no, I guess not. I mean, okay, I so added what... a, a custom thing. Yeah, that's that's all you had to do. Okay. So, uh, Teresa so... and Smashy, go on your character sheet, go to features. Uh -huh. Under passive abilities. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go to the far right. Click add. Um, actually, Smashy's is a reaction, so hers is going to be an active ability. Yeah, click okay. add. So smashing under active abilities, click add, mm -hmm. and then click the, the, the pencil and, and paper on the far right. And then okay. you change the name from new feature to the feature you just learned. Okay. So Teresa's would be slide, Smashy's is going to be parry. And okay. then in the big box in the bottom, if you hover your mouse over it, another pen and pencil appears. Edit that and then paste in the text for the ability. Teresa, once you've done that, you're done. You can just close it. Okay. And you should have that. Yep. Do I need to make it like a quantity, though? No, you can use it as often as you want. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. Cool. Smashy, let me know when you're done. I'm done. I don't see it in there. Oh. Um, How about now? Is. Okay, now you saved it. Okay. Is there a way to change the icon? Yeah, but I really need to do that. All right, no, um, no The Smashies is a reaction, so I'm going to change it to one reaction. Limited uses three per three of long rest. Oh, sweet. So you see that Smashie now? Now it says that? Yep. Um, Chris, do you know what you want? Uh... I was trying to learn how to use a martial weapon. I failed. I don't remember if I failed like once or twice. 
Um, I, I I have it. Give me a second. Um, I'm trying to figure out what. Here, <laughs> how's that for slide, Teresa? It looks like Sonic spinning. Oh yeah, love that. <laughs> Good job. Uh, is it not in the school time? I we d- I didn't write it in there. Yeah, that's Irene. More than Marshall Evan. Irene needs a fourteen to learn net. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I wrote it in my notes. Yeah, can we still do downtime even though we're at school, or is it only school time stuff? Depends on which downtime you want to do. Um, Chris, I don't... Are you sure you failed? Does anyone else remember? I was I was trying to learn the heavy crossbow. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I learned it. don't remember. I just don't have one. Maybe that was it. Uh, how would I know if I got it? It would be listed in your weapon proficiencies, and it's not. Okay. Do you want to same once or <laughs> zero times? Guess I'm just bothered that we don't have the note about it any place. Like, you don't have it written down? No. I'm looking for it. I don't have it in any of my notes. Okay, I mean, we can say once. Uh, wait a minute. I got a note that says... It says restore. Wisdom, carpenter's tools, heavy cross. Maybe I already had it. You you think you already got it? Yeah, my poor notes. I got a thing that says uh, restore heavy crossbow. Like if I up leveled up. Oh, okay. So you probably just didn't do that. Yeah. Okay, I updated it. Sweet. Okay. Well, you go back to thinking. Who else has time left? I do. Okay. Um, can I do the Poisoner's Kit? Yeah, is there a role for that one? Um, nope, there's not. No. Okay, so in the proficiencies, uh, tool proficiencies, go to the far right and click the, the pencil and paper again. And click on Poisoner's Kit. It's down right above these. Um, hold on. In prof... <laughs> Tool proficiencies, bottom right. Of my character sheet? Yep, of your attributes portion. Oh, okay, I see. Hit the pencil. And then... Kristen doesn't understand why I'm so tired after these sessions. Got it. I gotta use a lot of brain, and I'm not blaming you guys. It's just the truth. I'm not blaming Smashy directly. (laughs) That's okay. I'm used to being blamed. Travis, I'm sick. Don't do that. (laughs) Don't pipe in, Serena. I can't defend myself. (laughs) Stop it. (laughs) 
Uh, I think Teresa still has time left, and Chris hasn't used any. Yeah, I, I know what I want to do. Okay, what do you want to do? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's called, like, re reposte. Yeah, I think it's repost. I want to do that. Repost. Okay. Um. So, yeah, do the same thing you did la last time, except do it under active, and then I will edit it for you. Okay, I'm going to put it in the chat so people can read it. Thanks, Teresa. You get an inspiration. Nobody else has been doing that. Hmm. They've just been waiting for me to fucking read it. Is it an active ability or a passive ability? It's active, active right? Active. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like uh, fentanyl? Fentanyl, yeah. Some kind of, but it doesn't have the other stuff. Fentanyl's oh. better. Oh, okay. I think um, drug? Rob had that. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I think he did. How do I... Um, how can I change it so that I can put it as like... like So that I know that it's my proficient, proficiency bonus? Is there a way? Um... No, but what you would do is... Should I just put it in the... In the thing. Summary? Go to details now. You finish description. Go to details. Okay. Oh, I um, see. Activation cost. Change that to one reaction. Okay. And then limited uses. Put three of three per long rest. Cool. Okay. And that's it. Thank you. We just got to remember to change that to four later. Yeah. Okay, Chris. How about non-lethal ranged weapon attack? Non-lethal ranged weapon attack. Okay. It's two weeks. Uh, can I also do religious service where I spend two weeks praying to God? Yeah. So let me know if you have trouble adding that in. And um, we can do this thing. Is everybody else done? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, I think, Chris, you've, uh, do you, have, you have more time after this, right? Yeah, two more weeks, I think. Okay. You spend two weeks praying to a god. Make a religion or a persuasion check. Which god are you praying to? Sormes. Sormes, okay. You Sormes? 21! You get two favorites from Sormes. Ha 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 ha. The goddess Tylonail. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah with a 21 you get two favors from Sormi. sweet so put that down somewhere and don't forget about it this time you goddamn son of a bitch can I learn something I already successfully have learned and forgot to keep on my character sheet Shh, you gotta understand what happened yeah, you literally wrote complex. yourself a you literally wrote yourself a note to remember and forgot. It took it off my <laughs> character sheet. You know how hard it is to find that? Well, we're not going to have to worry about that anymore, because i got a plan. Oh. You're going to kill him, aren't you? Oh, it, well, yeah, I mean, Chris, yes. Oh, that is scary. Baruch, Baruch will just leave. This is the part where we all die. Okay. Can I, can I tend to spend two more weeks just uh, working on my strength? Yeah. What's your strength? It's a six. All right, so you need a seven. What do I do? Strength check? Strength check. Ability check. Ability check. Ability check. Fail. Oh. I mean, uh, like, I can't believe how hard this is. I'm glad. I, I feel like I did a good job setting the difficulty <laughs> for this. Uh, inspiration. Sure. 
Damn. Oh, no. no. All right. So now, now it's every time, every time Yarrow gets the bar up, all the weights fall off on top of Baruch. <laughs> oh no! Sorry, <laughs> they're working zero. out together. They just keep fucking hurting each he's other. Try, he's trying to bench ten <laughs> pounds and he gets crushed. Yeah, I got one more week. <gasps> yep, let's do it. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's <laughs> really bad. Inspiration for that one? Yeah, fuck it, we'll do it. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god, oh, you wow. failed every roll. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. You wasted that 17. It's really hard, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> weights are really, really heavy. Wasted you 17. Didn't no, you didn't waste at all. He got he got two favors from the King of the Gods. Oh. With that 17. Okay. Yeah, can he make me buff? No. No. <laughs> no god can. <laughs> too far beyond. You're cursed. No god can. <laughs> All right. That brings us to the second year of school. Yay. Hey. Figure out what I got to move my calendar to here. Did I say, sec- Did I say second day? Hope I didn't. Second year, I think. That would be embarrassing. I don't think you said day. Did you say day, everybody? No, I think what? you said year. I agree. That would be stupid, Travis. Yeah, you Travis. It. You said it. You don't just said what I didn't stupid, say. Stupid. Travis. Oh my god, guys. What was happening? You literally We're just hanging said up on say. you. You literally, you literally <laughs> just said All right, all right. Well, I'm not saying anything anymore. So. Oh, shit. Finally. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, oh, he sighed. That counts as talking. Quick, get him. Uh, okay, the second year of school starts on 210. So, second. 210. Yeah. Oh Summer God. 10th. Get that All out. right. Let me get back to my number. I grew an inch. You all somehow got shorter. Oh. We all measure each other. <laughs> okay. On the wall. <laughs> Your first big change is that you are no longer in the first year dorms of Jalissa Hall. And so Perry Ooh. Phoenix is no longer your hallmaster. Now you live in Benvir Hall, the dorms for the second, third, and fourth year students. And therefore, it is the largest dormitory. The hallmaster here is a goblin named Telonio Dune. He's taller, stronger, and more red as opposed to green for a goblin. He would explain to you that his mother was a goblin, but his father was actually a hobgoblin. New hallmaster. Um, during the first few days of school, you hear about an auction taking place in Four Clove, Caledonia. Apparently, it's an annual secret thing, but because of the variety of students at the academy, the secret is known. Secret auction. Oh. All right. What? Fun. I was, I was just going to ask more about the auction. But. Go ahead. I was gonna, uh, is it like of magical stuff or like what's what's the nature of it? Um, yeah, you're, you're talking to some like shady looking student and he's just like, yeah, man, apparently it's like all this freaky stuff nobody's supposed to have. Like powerful stuff like the Academy would want all of it if they knew how to get in. Expensive? Yeah. Are you going? No, man. I can't get in there. Oh. Oh. How, how you get in? Ah, nobody knows. I guess you gotta be super rich, probably. Well, Are you uh, super rich? I'm not. Why are you being weird, yeah. dude? I, I don't know you. Who are you? Uh, my name's Tom. Oh. Oh. Well, 
Who do we talk to? No yeah. idea. It's like, do you understand what a secret thing is? Well, how do you know about it if it's a secret? Because my dad's uncle's brother's son's brother's nephew's housekeeper's sandwich deliveryman told him about it. What's his name? Where does he live? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> and the sandwiches does he deliver? I don't believe you. Oh, I'm really <laughs> regretting telling you guys about this super secret <laughs> rumor. What are we supposed to do with it? I'm not super rich. Can Why would like, you tell us? Because <laughs> it's cool, man. It's not that cool if no one knows about it. It is cool. <laughs> huh. All right, I guess we're going, right, everybody? Oh, we are definitely going. Whatever, I'm out of here. Bat! And he turns into a bat and flies away. Tom hmm. the Bat. Tom the Bat. Huh. That's, That's how I know you cool. haven't started watching what we do in the shadows yet. Sure, I haven't. I was kind of banished from Four Cloves, so, you know. Not really banished, but sent away. Wait, what do you mean? Huh? Like I was a priest there and stuff, or yeah, I, and then they sent me to that place in the mountains. Why did they send you? I think some of the the other dudes didn't like me because I overheard some stuff. Ah, oh, you eavesdropped, huh? Yeah, I kind of do that. What'd you hear? Um, well. A lot of bad stuff. Were they diddling kids? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think they were. I don't. I don't really know. Killing people. Killing kids. Killing children. Uh, you it, don't know. <clears throat> or you, you just don't want to tell us. Don't. No. Ah. I need a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me consult my diary. <laughs> Meantime, that Tom guy was weird, wasn't he? He was Guys. a little weird. <laughs> Turned into a bat. And... Yeah. It's like he wanted to tell us stuff, but he, but he like didn't know anything. Yeah. Yeah. But I what believe him about do? that delivery guy. I know. Kind of go for a sandwich now. All right, big boy, make us a sandwich. <laughs> he says right. he's not rich, but he's got a sandwich delivery man. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there someone else we could ask here? <clears throat> yes, our our new goblin. Half goblin. What is he? Guildmaster? Headmaster? Hallmaster. 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 I don't think he'll know anything. It's supposed to be a secret. And they were like, oh. Yeah, but they, he said that they were trying to get in. Mm-hmm. When was it? Did he say when it was? No. He said that it's an annual thing. That's, that's it. He was basically just telling you, the, hey, I heard that there's this annual yeah. auction. And... They have all this crazy stuff. And nobody knows how to get in. Like, that's all Except for say. us. You guys know how to get in? You do know how to get in? Oh, uh, no. Where's Forklo? Could we just go there? We could have, except Baruch's banished from there, so I guess we maybe we'll run into trouble. I don't know. What if we just put the guys on him? Yeah, we just gotta stay away from the bishops. And anyone who might know the bishops. Yeah, we can just we disguise yourself and it'll be good, right? Plus, you know who to stay away from, right? I mean, they can't all hit you there. Probably not. I didn't really do anything. Do you have any friends? Yeah, sure. Not the, do, they, so... do they know that you're, that you're their friend? 
uh, you know, Joe asked me to uh, come up with a backstory where I have friends and family and things. Who's Joe? He never did. Never did. <laughs> Not like Yarrow. But you do, though, right? There was a... Squirrel man? Church boy? Oh. Okay. Did you abuse him? No. <laughs> Why wasn't he convincing when he said that? Why he wasn't was he convincing? <laughs> no. No, no, no. I don't know if I want to go there. I'm going to get arrested. I mean, you're not going to do anything, right? Yaro? I'm not going to do What are you talking about? Oh, why would you Being get arrested? Because we're associating with a known criminal. You don't know he's a known criminal. Are you a known criminal, Farouk? No. Are you a known See? pervert? No. <laughs> he, he sounded different. He sounded different. He's different. <laughs> he if you guys want to make an insight, insight check, go ahead. ahead. All right, insight check. You guys can't just... Oh, no. I think he's lying. Chris, can you whisper me either a persuasion or deception roll? What? But <laughs> you're either telling the truth or you're not. Then why am I rolling? You are either persuasion or, or deception. Or oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. I'm a GM roll. Lying in deception. Uh. <laughs> And Smashy, make sure you're showing Sirene this map because I made it, and I'm proud of it. Sirene. He's watching. Or Serena. Serena. God <laughs> damn it! Why is her name? Why did you do that? Why is your character's name so close to your sister's name? I did. I said you love me so much. I have to be in your fake game as well. I love her so much. To be clear, it's a real game. It's a real game. <laughs> That's a my big bad. world, real game. Uh, fake, bad right. words, fake words I used. That is <laughs> messed up. You guys, <laughs> it's Irene. Yeah, I never. Irene. You guys don't. You guys all believe him. You, based on the way he's acting, um, you can tell that the the real reason that he doesn't want to go back bothers him a great deal. And you guys kind of making up all these other theories is really just annoying him more than anything else. Mm. Um, it's definitely not any of these other things you're saying. He's not a criminal. He's not a pedophile or a pervert. Thank you. Like, based on mm. your, your read of him. Mm. Where all right. Right. But you, but you can tell. <laughs> you can tell that that what he's the thing that the real reason really bothers him. Okay, so, are, you, are you willing to go back there? Yeah, sure. All right. Do you have any uh, places you think that it could be the auction? Secret auction, eh? Yeah. Make an intelligence check. Get advantage because you know foreclose. No idea whatsoever. This is the first you're ever hearing of it. Yeah. Well. Well, it's not like our, we, we can just go there. We're kind of at school right now, but... If we don't know when it is, that kind of you know, right. It's annual. It. We don't know. It could be just camp out there for a year. I do not care right. what it takes. We have to go. All right. Well, we have to find someone who knows something then, or have the school send us on a mission there. Maybe we could we could request a field trip to investigate for the school because there's items there that the school would want. Huh? Huh? Sure. Like a special project. You from the island, Brooke? 
Yeah. Caledonia, yeah. From what, which part of it? Four Quelve. Okay. Mm. I remember we learned that it's like that the four elements and all that stuff, and that's the only kind of normal area. Yeah, that's right. All right, should we propose this to our hallmaster? Sure, worth a shot. Yeah, we're second year students now. Big shots. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's approach our hallmaster. Okay, you approach Telonio Dune. Nice. Who's doing the talking? You. Me. He's the worst at talking. We all know that. Yeah. Okay, oh, Yarrow. I can do it, sure. I call him Dooney. That's my nickname for him. <laughs> okay. I go up to him. And, hey, Dooney. Uh, we were wanting to go to uh, Four Glove, and uh, I don't know if there might be any school business up there we could possibly uh, go attend to. Did you say four glove? Clove. Yeah. Clove. Clove. Sorry. Clove. I'm reading it wrong on this map I have. <laughs> on this map I have. <laughs> uh, don't you have studies that you're in the middle of? Well, sure, but you know, we get missions from time to time. Okay. They're important, too. You don't want to tell them what, what we're, yeah, why we what, want to do it? What would you be doing? It's for the school's sake, sir. Well, we heard there's some sort of auction there with like good stuff maybe the school would be interested in, and we wanted to go investigate it. Okay, never heard of it. Uh, when is it's it? It's very secret. I don't know. So, what's your plan? The plan is just to find the way they have, where they hold the auction, not necessarily to attend it on the day of. We, maybe, you know, if we're lucky, maybe it's it's at the same time, but... I feel like that's probably not a good shot. But maybe we figure some stuff out about it, because I've heard there's magic items that the school has been interested in. Yeah, I I don't think that I don't think that, that will go over well if you don't have any kind of plan. I think oh. I think maybe Oh well, Baruch's out. from there. Okay, Baruch, what's the plan? Yeah, Baruch, tell him. We go there. And then we find the super secret rich auction by uh, something up. You're from there by finding local church boy. All right, you guys figure out a plan and come back to me. And uh, I don't mind presenting something. Sweet. We will do that. Thanks, Dooney. No problem. <laughs> Alright, well that didn't go as well as I had hoped. Yeah, we didn't really have a group plan, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> kind of relying on Baruch, Baruch there a little bit. I think, I, What's I think Church Boy's to... name? His name. Just made it up. I, you know how hard it is to make up a name? <laughs> no, it's not. Use chat GTP. Chat GPT. Uh, I don't know. Log in. Oh, that's a great idea. Chat GTP write me a backstory <laughs> for my character. I, I use that for all kinds of DD <laughs> stuff now. Especially names. <laughs> Give me the name of an Eric Croker sharpshooter with one eye, and then it'll come up with like an awesome name. Right. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Name. I want to try. Church boy. Okay. D such a weird name. From an local, island. Local church boy. For clove. The island is called Caledonia. You don't even know the... Mm. <laughs> His name is Elias Marlowe. Okay. See? Perfect. Did you write him or something? And then... You, you Wait, you should have said in a Greek-themed campaign, though. He's a local church boy. When you yeah, say church Elias. boy, you mean he just... He volunteers at the church. 
Altar boy. He's like an altar boy? He's a young he man who was devoutly religious and active in his local church community. Uh, he may attend church services. services he he asked him what a church boy was. Participate in youth groups and adhere to strict moral code based again? on his religious beliefs. Elias Marlowe. Oh, church boy. Oh, I'll cut. Well, I think if we could find out when the auction is, that's really the most important thing, right? I mean, we can go try to right. investigate once we know when it, when it is, but if, if we're just there and it's a year later, like that's not going to be any benefit. Can you write, write the this local church boy? <sighs> How do, you, how do you write a letter to local church boy? How do you address that letter, right? His name is Elias. <laughs> yeah, first of all, you use his name. Ooh, your local church boy. All right, we gotta do it in code, though. He he just gives it to a random bird. Like, it's not even a magic bird. <laughs> just gives the letter to a bird. He coded letter to Elias telling him we need to meet. Okay, I got it. I got it. It's coming up. <laughs> Here's the letter. Yeah. What the fuck? Come on, Chris. Okay, happen, so it's going to be a, a simple substitution cipher where each letter of the alphabet is replaced with another letter. Okay. He'll know what to do. And this is this is what it says. Okay. It, and it's, it means... I didn't read it yet. I need to speak with you. I didn't read it yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, um, maybe maybe not tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> He's gonna meet local church boy at the spot by the river at midnight. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Another insight check into his relationship oh, with church. <laughs> oh Why are we so writing horrible. coded letters to each other? It's, that is so it's horrible. Up. You're writing a coded letter to a little boy, telling him you want to meet him at the usual <laughs> spot by the river at midnight. Oh no! Okay, we need to move on. I, move how on. do you think he was banned from? Yeah, I guess. Well, look, here's the deal. You guys are getting a mission anyway, so you can't you can't go and do this. Ah, <laughs> damn so. you, Tom! You son of a bitch. Well, I was about to get into it when Brian interrupted me and wanted to know more about the auction. I was dropping a seed for later. God damn it! Oh, we got obsessed with it. That's what happened. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna just say it was worth it. But it once it got well to meet little it. boys down at the river, I called time mm -hmm. out. I'll save the letter for later. <laughs> All right. So you're you're at school for a full ninety days, and on fall one, um, <clears throat> as a fall one, you are the most advanced students in the second year, and so you aren't surprised when you are the first team in your class given a mission this year. Sweet. Recall that you were sent to Brown Hill to visit the Temple of Isephany. Mm -hmm. That was here. Mm -hmm. That was actually a little less than a year ago. And now you find yourselves back in the same mission room in Gulvier Hall with Lauren Steelbelly, the clean-shaven dwarven monk, professor of constitution, and dean of missions. Today he is accompanied by a male high elf wizard with a thick mustache. This is Donatello Perazny, the Associate Professor of Intelligence. You first met him after the Octagon, when he began training you in non-combat skills 
prior to your practice mission on Diaphanous Island. Today, he has a real mission for you. Steel Belt, he says, <clears throat> All right, 1080D, any questions before I give the floor to Professor Perezny? Good. Professor okay. Perezny, you have the floor. My understanding is that you have been assigned this mission because you have the most experience of any second-year unit due in part to an unsanctioned mission you completed during break. While I do commend you on you consistently doing a good job, I must warn you that this mission in particular will require you to strictly adhere to the Academy's rules. For many years now, the nation of Festus has dealt with something known as the Torn Tooth Anomaly. Torn Tooth used to be a town near Lake Silne in Festus, but a long time ago it was suddenly enveloped by a strange dome. The dome can be entered, however, no one has ever returned after entering it. Your mission is of a scientific nature. You are to go to Torntooth and learn all you can about the anomaly, and then return here with your report. Under no circumstance are you to enter the dome. This mission is, of course, from First Spear Arvad Yen himself. He's the leader of Festus. He's hoping we can use the information we gather to eventually free Torntooth from this anomaly. Further, the payment for this mission depends on the extent of the success. Somewhere between 200 and 500 gold pieces will go directly to the five of you. Do you have any questions? Mm, is there anything like we're given? specifically to study about it or just it's a dome right like you can you see through it hold on um is that all i put in that note for you guys Um, yes, you can see through it. Uh, however, people have described it. What they see on the other side is strange. Mm. In what way? And that is something you are going to have to report back to us. All right. Has anyone tried tying a rope around someone and then uh, that person goes in and then they try pulling them back out? I actually don't know if that has been tried. But I would advise against you trying, as you are specifically forbidden from entering. Mm, that that's gonna make Cyrene want to enter real bad. I'm not sure what she said. Students, you have been told not to enter. Do not disobey your instruction. I would yeah, never accidentally I trip. I um shared a journal called Torn Tooth Alarm Anomaly with you guys. So that you can, you have all that text. Okay. okay. I see it. <clears throat> Which part's it under? Four? Uh, it's, a, it's, yeah, notes no, notes. Player, yeah, no, it's, it's, oh, no, right oh, above it's, the yeah. glossary. A... Yeah. Gotcha. I, I see it now. Yeah, you do. So that has that has all of all of what he just said. All right, it's simple enough. Let's go, Terse. Go. What? Uh, never mind. Let's go, stir, stir. That's what he just said. Yeah. All right. all right then. You will leave in the morning. Take care of anything you need to take care of today. That is all. Okay, all right. is there anything anybody wants to do, buy, whatever, before you leave? Uh, no. Could use some more rations. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, how many rations do I have? Where's Festus? 
the big one on the left. Red, mm -hmm. I think, if I'm seeing the color right. How much are rations yeah. again? Yeah, I want to buy some more rations. Uh, oh, yeah, you guys should use a bunch, too, because you just traveled. You just traveled another nine days after town. How many should we use? I mean, you traveled nine days. Well, I only have seven rations. I only have well, ten rations. Five. Does that mean I starved? Treat them as being all gone. I've got mm -hmm. six, but I've also yeah. got a crate of anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'll dry them, and then we can just have those as rations. Uh, I think what we'll do is just use all the ones you have, and then you'll buy the, the other. You, we'll say you bought more. Okay. And, we'll and how much are it, they? We'll just spend them on looking. Wait, five is what I've. Uh, oh, rations okay. are five silver pieces. All right, I'm gonna so, yeah, buy half, half a gold. So spend however many you needed to to get back to half a even. gold. Yeah, so two is one gold. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm gonna buy twenty. I Me also too. bought twenty. Right. Ten gold. Yeah. Because we'll need so probably the same on the way back. Yeah, and there's always places to stop if you need to get more. Of course, I should get more because I have a wolf. Yeah. So let me do another twenty. Um, are we able to buy? Where are we? Are we still? We're still at campus. Yeah. Yeah. Could we buy like health potions? Uh, I had a. Where is my notes on the school store? I don't remember if the school store has them or not. Um. Uh... At the Saul Hall, right? Um, yes, they have potions of healing here. 50 gold. <coughs> okay. I'm going to buy what? one. You can buy as many as you want for 50 gold each. I have just... three. I can give somebody one or two. Um, I mean, I have so much gold. I don't have anything to spend it on. Well, you can look at the items they have in the store too. That's also okay. been shared with you. It's it's. Can I click a button to? I have one potion of healing on me. It's a greater. Did that pop open for all of you? It yep. did. I should look and see if you unlocked more second year because you might have. Um, Joey. Yeah. On my character sheet, in my attributes. Why do I have something <laughs> called hand jobs? Uh, I don't know. We were probably joking around and gave everybody hand jobs. Yeah, that's pretty funny. What was it about? Are you I forget, but I was like, why do I have hand jobs <laughs> in my attributes? Yeah, you can just you can just delete it. I don't know you how. Never know when it can get you out of a pinch. Yeah, just we press said, the wheel. You shouldn't pinch. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't Generally delete shouldn't it. Pinch. You should I not can't. pinch. Go on. This is important. Never pinch during a hand job. I can't delete it. Come on, delete it. I don't want to be. The, I don't want to be the town whore. What do you mean you can't delete it? I can't delete ice? it. It must have been. There's no option for me to delete it. Are you popped out? Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 why the error is happening. Oh, I have to pop in. <laughs> Wait, no, there's no. I still can't delete it. How do I delete it? Always be popping. Just could you tell me where it is and I'll take care of it so I can have, don't have to listen to you anymore? In my uh, attributes uh, under survival. Try to do the hand job and just pop in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I added that to everybody's character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't remember that. I mean, you probably weren't paying attention, to be fair. Oh, yeah. I got hand well, jobs, too. Joey, yeah, that is have it. neither here nor there. What is it? An inventory yes, it or features? It's it was an attribute. Oh, yeah, attribute. Ryan, it must have oh, been no. from the heist. Ah, uh, okay. No, I got it. There it is. Oh, you do have it? Oh. Yeah. So who's got a plus something Nine. for hand jobs? I got plus six. Oh, wow. Oh, it's gone. Uh -huh. 
It's I gone. Had, I had minus two. I was okay. so minus good. Two After all also. that, everyone's super disappointed <laughs> when they get to remove. Really good at it. Chris is the only one that wanted it gone. I mean, they could have could have cut him up in this my campaign. Char- my charisma mm-hmm. is so bad. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Oh, no. uh, huh. Hey, I was Sorry. looking at the list. Oh, Sorry, man. I saved a module change in it. Fucking. Oh, oh. Make sure. oh. Come on, Joey. Get it together. Stop giving me a hard time when I'm sick, you bitch. <laughs> I mean, and you guys are going You're not so long. Sick, we're, not, are you? We're, we're not even going to get to a fight or anything. So Serena's been sitting here the whole time watching you guys be assholes. <laughs> Good He's in her element. What it's like. <laughs> I'm also an asshole, so. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there actually is a bunch of stuff that got added oh. to the store. Can you pull it up it. again? Pop it out. No, pop it uh, in. Pop it in, pop it in. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm like editing oh, yeah. the list right now, but it's all the stuff at the bottom. Okay. I lost. Them. Ooh, somebody get the javelin of lightning. Take. Is there anywhere I can buy a crossbow? Supplement cake? Yes, you can just buy Yo. it. Joey, what's supplement cakes? Um. Oh, is that not available in the items for you guys to look at? Oh, I don't know. I just saw it in the list. and No, I didn't share it yet. Just let me know if there's one that you guys can't see. There. I added it so that you can see it. Be this muffin-shaped cake tastes like a combination of dry bed, oranges, and chalk. Mm. Dry bed? Bread, you asshole. <laughs> Dry. Um, Who would want to eat a dry bed? Yeah, I'm saying. Puppy. The wolf. What's his name? Silas. 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 All of you guys were like super interested in the supplement cakes, but not in the red minotaur energy drink. (laughs) Well, I did see that, but it was quite expensive. Yeah. What's the oh, dust of, of delicious? Oh. There's so many fun things. What is this, Mashy? What? Pearl of Power? Is that what you're... Yeah, That's I don't cool. know. Someone already I have has one, one of those. those. Yeah, I have one. Do you want uh, oh. it? Dust, dust of Deliciousness is already under consumables. Uh, you guys can already see that one. I know. I searched I search it. Mashy, you want it? No. Back off. You're too eager. Oh. Damn. Stop hey, telling her what to do. Travis. Go fuck yourself, so, Travis. Let's tell everyone what to do at all. Question. Wait, actually, I might just be able to search it. Question! <laughs> Answer. I don't see Javelin of Lightning in the... Okay, Maybe. so the Shower Caddy of Expediency. <laughs> that is is never... It just always is there. I don't know what she's talking great, about. Great question. Is it like a one-time use, or is it like a multiple-times use? It's a multiple-times use. Hmm. Could be nice to be clean. Could <laughs> be. <laughs> huh. You see, I never random. thought of that. Yeah. The most useful uh, thing in this game is the shower caddy of expediency. <laughs> <laughs> Bed of clouds could be useful. I don't really want anything. I feel like it'd just be a waste of money. Pretty good. Should I should I buy a a, a potion? Or do you think guys you guys think I'm okay with just the one that I have? Just don't ever use it. Yeah. It's just the one. I ha it's like the potion of healing greater, so it's like a big Just don't die. I'm, yeah, I'm sure right. it's fine. Yeah. Okay. You're a big bunny. You'll be all right. I'm a little bunny. I'm not a big bunny. Well, you're a big bunny when you want to be. I can be a big bunny. You're right. Right? That's true. 
Oh, the lightning's not bad. It's not. Once per day, you can use the lightning ability, but otherwise it's just used as a magical weapon. I still don't have a magic weapon, but it's not really the weapon I like. No? What kind of weapon do you want? Uh, I've got a rapier. That's. So you want a better version of that? Yeah. Oh, the drift globe is cool. I got one of those where I had one. Oh, do you? Not that expensive. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, ah. Simple melee, huh? Yeah, proficient in it. I've been trying to pop more and more stuff in so that you can click them. If, again, if you find something that isn't in there yet, let me know. Bag of intramural balls. That's like a Ryan item. Oh, I didn't see that one. I'm down to Potion of Animal what? Friendship, so I'm getting there. Jo Joey? Uh huh. What does it mean when it says doing so removes a level of exhaustion? So you can have up to six levels of exhaustion. Each level of exhaustion causes bad things to happen to you. You get levels of exhaustion by skipping sleep or being in horrible environments like blizzards or volcanoes or doing things that make you really, really tired. If you have one level of exhaustion, you have disadvantage on all ability checks. I think the second level is disadvantage on saving throws and attack rolls. Level three is half speed and so on. Um, if you, Level six is death. And so something that cures levels of exhaustion can get rid of those effects. Normally gotcha. you get rid of them by sleeping. Okay, so I don't have any right now, so it's probably yeah, it's, yeah. not something I need to worry about right now. Okay. Not this moment. Well, weren't you in that volcano all day yesterday? What? <laughs> <laughs> um, is anyone going to buy anything? No. Okay, let's move on then. I think a holding is really nice, but that's expensive. Chris has one. Okay. In his mouth. Okay. You don't want the bed of clouds? That's true. Bed of cloud. Is it for one person or two? <laughs> Wind size. Yeah, it's too small. Yeah, they don't no. care. I got a lot of my arrow ideas from watching the um, Hawkeye TV show. Oh yeah, yeah. Funny. Okay, nobody wants to really buy anything. That's fine. I thought somebody would be interested in the Ashbriar paste. I didn't look at that one. Me either. You didn't see it. Fire damage, I do that. The add spell doesn't mean to one damage rule. I don't even see it. Yeah, you should search for it. Spell cast, spell casting ability modifier. Is that like your your charisma modifier? Normally, you don't add that to For me. So I could use. I could add that to fireball. Yes, but it's only for one damage roll. It's you're using that in in the spell, so it uses the component. But then you get to you would get to add your spell casting ability modifier to the roll. Hmm. I forgot to put cloak. Only twenty gold. In. Yeah. It's kind of like unicorns benediction. It works the same way. You know how Travis used to use that all the time. Yeah. That would. What did that do, Travis? It increases the spell level by one. Yes, I think so. Yeah. 
Yeah, hey, I'll, I'll get that. that I'll get uh, like three of those. Sure, 60 gold. Okay. Pretty bit of extra damage. I forgot to do this, but second year students, it unlocked other options in the store. I don't remember to use it. 60, okay. Gotta write down to sort. Headless all hall items. All right, I've got that. Okay. Anything else before you guys leave the school? Uh, was non-lethal ranged weapon attack a feature, or do I just do a custom? You probably were looking at stuff when I was explaining how to do that before. Possibly. No, it's not a real feature. So you go to features, yeah, yeah, yeah. and under passive abilities, you would hit add, and then just type it in yourself. Okay, I'm getting really tired, and there's a point I want to get to tonight. Um, so I'm going to move it along a little bit here. Okay, guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Moving it to the next day. In the morning that you guys leave. Okay. On your way to the docks, Donatello Perezny catches Cyrene and pulls her aside. Are you there, Smashy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Excuse me, I require a moment of your time before you head off on this mission. Uh, alrighty. Uh, there is a reason why I have taken an interest in your team, and in this mission in particular. You see, I believe that Giovanni was gathering artifacts or something, and I have begun looking into the locations of various artifacts that he was trying to obtain. Among them, is an artifact called the Lion's Portion Kite Shield. Consider this extra credit beyond your mission for Festus. I need you to recover that shield and bring it back to me. Not only will it further the purpose of the Academy, but it will be a hint toward what Giovanni's master was planning. Obviously, there will be an additional reward for your team if you do manage to collect the shield. Given the importance of this assignment, you will be given an additional 700 gold pieces on top of the other reward. Oh, alrighty. The government of Festus does not want our students to enter the dome. So you're going to have to keep this a secret. Because the shield is inside the dome. Oh my god. I'm going in the dome. Shh. This is a secret. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> I haven't told any other members of your party about this. It's up to you to figure out what they need to know and what they don't need to know. Do you have any questions? Uh, what does the shield do? That is exactly what I want to figure out. Oh. Because oh, once I figure dear. out what it does, I can figure out why Giovanni's master. You get it? Yeah, all right, I get it. Jesus. Who is that? Oh, you know, he serves the soup. <laughs> okay. Why did you call out his name in vain? Oh, well, sometimes he makes bad soup. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all righty, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. And that was. Uh, all right, you are telling me. You are telling me. All right. Okay, thank you. This, this, that, that's all. Thank you. So I'm going to add that to the journal entry. So you guys have that conversation as well. But note that for now, the only one who knows about any of that is Cyrene. Because she was the one most obviously interested in entering the dome. True. True. The things you do matters, bitches. Damn it. 
Can't wait to go on the dome. Man, I hate Travis so much. I wanted to go on the dome. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can. Nope. I mean, I'm not allowed to yet. Just me. I mean, technically, she's not allowed to either. Remember, this was the guy telling you, this was the guy all along telling you not to go in. And now he's telling her to go in. So. (laughs) Okay. So, based on the distance to Torn Tooth, uh, which is everybody looking at Festus on the map? Mm. No. Look at Lake Silney. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's okay, yeah. through this like there. Oh no. Okay. Um, I hate him. I just hate him, you guys. <laughs> Based on the distance to Torn Tooth, it's going to take nine days of generally un- uninterrupted travel to reach there, including the trip from Diaphanous Island to Shavonia. Doing a million perception checks is boring. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have everyone give me a perception check. I'm going to have each of you roll a d20. And then I'm going to insert the results as you travel without having to... God damn it, Chris! That counts! Natural one for Chris! Rook! Got a natural one! So, do you want us to roll now, then? Roll it, you asshole! Baruch, perception... Natural one. Hope you don't die on the first thing. Um, well, you guys are all rolling. Pretty, pretty shitty so do far. You, yeah. Do you want us to roll then? Yes, please. Melio's got a seven. Wow. Holy six. shit, Daphne. <laughs> okay, you guys are not going to see anything coming except the last one. What about Cyrene? Did she roll? Yeah, she got a six. Oh. Shit. Okay. We have the um, highest. Now, on the D20, what you roll, the number doesn't matter because they aren't sorted in any kind of order. Okay. Um, They're just, it's just, it's just 20 different results. Who goes first? You guys can roll in whatever order because I'm having the events happen in the order of perception. Oh my God. (laughs) Why are you saying, oh my God, the size of the number doesn't matter. Yeah, but I already know they're bad. You don't know that. Okay, okay. tell me Make what you got. Number. Baruch. I got a 20? You got a natural 20 on your natural <laughs> one perception. Okay. Nelios? 11. Okay, Yaro? Uh, 2. Cyrene? Um, when I rolled, it came up as party, but the, the yeah, first time I the rolled... Yeah, party token selected. Okay, so eight. Okay. Daphne? Three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Why? Look up these events. Why did you say like that? She goes, yeah, why? You What's said it you? weird. You did. Why? You were like, like, three. Ugh. Now what? I'm nervous. He's like, Travis, oh, Travis, you were no. right. Oh, three. Travis, you were right. It's bad oh no we're so even with, bad even with my grape perception roll your grape flavored perception roll grape flavored okay. perception <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me that that's what chris rolled why oh, my fucking god what is what the dragon ancient dragon ancient dragon ancient double ancient dragon, dragon. <sighs> i should uh... <laughs> Boy. We five, never see five, it coming. Five oh, ancient no. dragons. He becomes a god, doesn't he? <laughs> he splits in two Serene and becomes two Baruchs. A church boy shows up, doesn't he? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. church boy. <laughs> every day at midnight. I run away. I run away from the group forever. <laughs> every, t- every day at midnight <laughs> for the rest of the two. campaign, the church boy shows up. Day one. Day two. Okay. Being bad so. at mining wasn't so bad. <laughs> Back home I go. <laughs> okay. So on the second day, which is fall third. At 2.30. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. What? You see some clouds. You see some clouds rolling in. It doesn't look like it'll last long, but you need to take cover. You quickly set up your tents and take a break. It rains for two hours, but then completely clears up. 
As you dry off your gear and stow your tents, you note a thick rainbow in the sky. It looks like it ends maybe a mile up the road. You all share a glance. Everyone make intelligence check. Oh, no. Oh, man, I'm so stupid. <laughs> yep. We're all pretty dumb. So. Oh, damn. All right, so, at least Cyrene. Cyrene. I'm intelligent. Yeah. Okay, Cyrene, you hate the gods. Mm -hmm. Um, you have heard of a special creature, a son of a gnat. It's called the leprechaun. Oh, no. <laughs> this creature hides its pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If you find its gold, it appears. And if you can defeat it, it grants you your choice of a wish, 10,000 gold, or a strong magic item. Oh, the wish shit. is dangerous, as the creature cannot be trusted. Okay. Um, kill us a leprechaun. Alrighty, so guys, do you see that thick rainbow over there? I know there is something that lives there that will give us a lot of money if we can get it. What do you mean? That doesn't make That's any great. sense. Let's go. I will show you. Okay. Off we go. Okay. All right. Okay. I think you guys are like right there. All right. You guys head toward the end of the rainbow. And when you get there, it's off the road. It's not on the road. You you have to head maybe just a quarter mile off the road because it was only a mile away to begin with. And you see uh, ahead of you a clearing in the trees. Um, there is a fire smoking, there is a tent with a chair next to it, and there is a small wooden table, very, very short, with a very large pot filled with gold. Okay. What's the deal, Cyrene? You know about this? Is We can just take this gold? What's going on here? Yeah, how does that work? Do we just take it? Or is it a spell we got to cast? We have to... I, I'm, we have to capture the leprechaun? You have to capture him? No, the rule... Well, the rule is you have to defeat him. That's all you defeat know. Defeat him. Whatever defeat well, where is? Means. Where is he? Call out, hello, Leprechaun. What is he? Should he should be under the rainbow? I knock on his on his gold pot. So you walk up. Oh yeah. You didn't say that. Oh, we walk up. Okay. See, is there someone in the tent? There's a tent well, there, right? When you walk up, okay, you hear a voice from from. The branches of a tree it, it, it says um what are you doing here uh Cyrene? we are here to defeat you <laughs> is that so yeah you crack you hear like the sound of knuckles cracking it's been some time since someone's defeated me we have to like fight gold you? But you're talking at the same time. Sorry. Go ahead. Do we have to like fight you or defeat in some other way? It's not up to me to tell you the rules. Oh, Cyrene, tell us the rules. You you don't know the you don't know the rules, do you? No. All I know is I have to. We have to defeat him. Do we have your gold? No. Can, can you come out of the tree? No! 
Hmm. And we saw it down the tree. Maybe, but it would take a lot of time. I don't know if that's necessary. Is he like evil or anything? I feel he's like more mischievous than evil. Okay. So is this like some kind of riddle type situation? <coughs> Can I look inside of his tent? Well, you hear from a tree on the other side now. Well, are you going to challenge me or what? Uh, you want to look uh, inside his tent? Yeah. Okay. Um, when you touch the tent, you take five lightning damage and the tent disappears. Ow! Touching stuff. Well. <laughs> Somebody challenge yeah, him. Yeah, let's I, challenge him. I challenge you. Good luck with that. Damn it. He tricked you. Okay. I'm going to throw a stone at his pot of gold. Gold. Okay. So I pick up a stone uh, and throw yeah, it at the, the stone pot. passes through the pot. And the pot disappears. I, I say telepathically into the leprechaun's mind, look behind you. Okay, make a deception check. Okay. Then what do you do? Uh I I try to see which one looks behind them, if any. What? I figure only the real one would would look behind them, right? Oh, you can't see him. Oh. Damn it. I can't, I I can't, you know, you've only heard a voice this whole time. Oh, we haven't seen either of them. I I mean, no. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know that. Nope. Mm. Am I uh, familiar familiar with the leprechaun by now? Are you like familiar a... with him? No, you haven't even seen him. Damn it. I heard him. You heard him? No, you didn't. Damn it. He heard his voice, he means. Oh, yeah, you heard his voice. Yeah. Was there anything else around? That, that there was just a tent and a pot. There was a bonfire. There was a chair. The table's still there too. Hey, leprechaun, you want this pie? Uh, no thanks. Not interested in pie. Oh, what about this mesquite boar? Are you kidding me? Go fuck yourself! Mm, mm. What about this bottle of wine or bottle of rum? Yes, I'll take it! Alright, get down here and challenge me! Um, so yeah, the leprechaun drops down from the tree and runs over to Cyrene uh, to take the bottle. W what are you giving him? Uh, a bottle of wine. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and he looks just like like a leprechaun. He's a little guy with a hat and a cane and a green jacket and red facial hair and everything. And he runs over, he takes the bottle of wine, and he starts chugging it. Is that do we win? Defeat him. And he finishes drinking it, hands you back the babe. bottle, and then. <laughs> Disappears. We did it. And then right? from a third tree, he says, Are you going to challenge me or what? Damn it. Yes, we challenge you. Are you going to fight us? Sure. All right, let's fight. Get down here. No. That sucks. Do we fight you? You don't know how to fight? <laughs> then this is going to be easy. Yeah, attack me. No! You don't know how to fight either. I feel like we wasted our opportunity with the whole wine thing. 
I have a bottle of rum. <laughs> I'm afraid that if we just attack them, that's not what we're supposed to do. You know what I mean? Well, what do you th- what do you think we should do? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't, I feel like there's something. Should we ask maybe him? Maybe more clever that we should do. Should we ask him? Yeah, do it. Well, what do what do we want to ask him? Can we have the gold without fighting you? Sure, do that. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> what's <laughs> what's his name, Mister Leprechaun? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Mister Leprechaun. What? Do we have to fight you for the gold? I'm not going to explain the rules to you. Why? If you don't know them, you'll miss your opportunity. The rainbow's starting to fade. I don't get it. How? how we, what? How are we supposed to know the rules if no one explains them to <coughs> ah, Great question. Challenge him to a game of your choosing. Tell me. You're good at gambling, right? Gamble yeah. something. No, I'm not, Travis. That was the heist. Oh, shit. I'm really bad at charisma, so I should not be talking to him at all. Yaro, challenge him to a mind game. Baruch, he's familiar to you, how about, though. How about some cards? Baruch? Go fuck yourself! Why is Baruch... Why is he familiar to Baruch? Like Baruch a has a spell though. that he needs him to be familiar with. Baruch has okay, a spell then. that he needs to be familiar with in order to use. Okay, well... Baruch. Do we know where he is? Can we see him? Did you cast the spell? No, is he hiding? Yes, he's back up in a tree. I described that. Okay. He's he drank a, a bottle of wine. He ran up into a tree. Out of view. Well, no. He disappeared and then shouted from a tree. Out of view. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to locate him. All right, how long does that last? It lasts for... An hour. Okay, you can tell that he's in the tree he's shouting for. Yeah, he's in there. Can you point him out to me? I message with my mind. Can you... Okay, what do you say? He's in that tree where the voice is coming from. Okay, that works. All right, I want. Can I see him in the tree? I look really hard. Make a perception check. Yes. All right, I'm tired of his bullshit. I'm gonna cast a spell on him. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. You don't need to be able to see him for that spell. I need. Asshole. I don't know if I know his name for sure, though. His name is Leprechaun. Well, I didn't know if that's his real name, though. So maybe he told you it was. Uh, whatever. I can see him anyway, so. Fine. Uh, let's see. I didn't know if he was tricking me. I was trying to be be careful. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he has advantage. Uh, how do I click this with advantage? That's a great question. Oh, that worked. Oh, he failed. 27 damage. All right. So I'm going to put you on the map, and we'll roll initiative, and then we're going to stop for the night. He's incapacitated then? Wow. Until the start of your next turn. Yeah. Uh, I gotta put you down. Yeah, it's a good spell. Okay, the fourth so level. Based on how all of that was going, I think that. Baruch is there. 
and the yarrow is here. I thought I turned off the thing for injured. Do you guys see the injured, uninjured stuff? I don't see, on see on him. I don't see it on us. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. I didn't want you to be able to see it on each other anymore. So none of you see the injured, uninjured stuff on yourselves anymore? Correct. Except for Silas. Yep, Silas, I see it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Silas, Wait. yeah, I can take oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait! Wait, I want it to be there forever. <laughs> Wait! Well, it's weird because I don't see an image, but if I hover over Silas, then I see that it says uninjured. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. But now it doesn't okay. do that anymore. Okay. Um, do you, you mind making the names smaller? Yeah, I don't. Mind. If it's going to take you long, don't do it. No, it should be quick. Um, That one is... <sighs> Custom nameplates. Right? Uh, That's the leopard counts. Okay, did it get smaller, guys? No. Well, not, not at all. I don't think so. Okay. Leave it. It's okay. Shut up! I'm, you guys complain about it every week, though, so I gotta do something. In my defense, I didn't complain. Why are you defending yourself? I don't know. Because you said I complained, and I didn't complain. Complaining now. I am. Yeah, that's correct. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Now. Okay. Um, I'll I'll stop trying after this try. Look, like they got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> if you zoom out, they get so big. <laughs> oh, she's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Joey, just I mean, leave it. <laughs> for me, they got smaller, so I don't know what you're... <laughs> they get really is. big when you zoom out. <laughs> just leave it. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know either. Is that for everybody that's happening? Yeah. <laughs> they get giant when you zoom out. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. you fixed it. They stopped getting big. Yeah, just leave it the way it is. Okay, I mean, for me, they're quite small. Hmm. For me, they're, they're giant now. They're quite large. <laughs> I changed the size from 64 to 24, so I, th there's no reason for them to have gotten bigger. I don't know. Let me try refreshing here. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. All right. Of course, it takes a while. There it goes. Yeah, it does look smaller now. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so anyway, you hit him. He is incapacitated for one turn. Or until the start of your turn. Um and in that moment uh six oh! giant boar Material materialize surrounding oh you guys, huh. and they just kind of poof into existence. Oh Jesus! And now you know why he got pissed off when you or, or when you asked him if he wanted more earlier. Mm. What are the odds? All right. Well. All right, everybody roll initiative, and then we'll stop. 
All right. Just like our plan, make sure Serena doesn't get to see any combat. Oh. <laughs> no active encounter. Yeah, but now she's in the in the Discord, so she can listen in next week. I can join in when I want. You can. You can get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Roll initiative. Kill Kill something. Else. All right. Well, <laughs> there's no active encounter, so I don't know. What I don't know what that means. Everybody else is rolling. You got. You got to go back to the hand, the fist thing, and then it's under. Yeah, there. I know. That's what I. Oh, yours doesn't show. Active encounter. Travis, just go to your your page, your player yeah. page. Yeah. Want me to just click it? So we're about to stop anyway. There is no active encounter in your currently viewed scene. Okay. I yeah, clicked I'm it on my. I, I looked at my player sheet and I, I'm looking at the fucking fist and neither of them work, so I don't know what you want Fucking fist? I'm looking at the fucking fist. I'll fucking kill all of you. I don't care. Oh, I rolled for you, Travis, and I rolled a natural 18, so... Yeah. Ooh, a natural 18. Yep, the, um, oh, natural. This the way he likes it. <laughs> this worked out, actually. Did it? I can't until my turn. Glad I rolled so poorly. Did I really roll the lowest with the leprechaun? Yeah. I don't know. Did you? Damn. I rolled a natural one with the leprechaun. Good. And sometimes it be like that. It do yeah. be like that. You can't always be lucky. Yeah. Is there? Bitch. <laughs> Anything that gives him the ability to not have that happen? I don't think so. Holy shit. That's crazy. What? Okay. And Silas is not an initiative, Travis? Well, roll that too. Okay. I thought he goes on your turn. That's all. Roll oh, yeah. that no, beautiful yeah, right. bane footage. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> all right. That's it.